Okay, so I am in the middle of getting the broccoli mac and cheese put together. Um, I just boiled and drained about a cup of um, dried pasta, so now it is more than a cup. Um, it's draining and then the pot is heating up. I'm gonna use the same pot because I don't wanna do more dishes. Uh, I'm going to be putting about a tablespoon of butter in the pot and melting that and then I'll add about a tablespoon of flour. Uh, that's gonna help kind of create a roux so we can thicken our sauce. Um, once I cook off the flour, get it a little bit golden, I'll add about a cup of milk and then let that cook um, to thicken up. So you can see uh, the sauce is thickening up. This is just the butter, the flour, and the milk and just kind of whisk it continuously to get that smooth sauce. And then once it's to the thickness that I like, which is almost there, I'm gonna add the cheese and a little bit of garlic powder, maybe a little bit of salt. And then we'll add our chicken sausage, which I've just heated up in the microwave so that it's a little hot. The broccoli that I also did the same and I chopped it up a little bit finer and then the pasta. I'm just going to add a little bit of garlic powder. I'm just going to add it in and see how thick the sauce has become. Just like that. Garlic powder and then we will add the cheddar and about a half of a cup to start. a sharp cheddar just because I like the flavor better. We have our cheese sauce. Looks really good. So I'm just going to add in our pasta. Oops, lost a noodle. mac and cheese nearly enough. I guess it just takes a pandemic to get me making mac and cheese. <laughs> Gonna add that chicken sausage right in and the broccoli. All right, one pot. I'll just give it a good stir and I will show you the finished product.